President of the United States.
Say something when there's a lump as big as a tennis ball in your throat. You know, every morning they hand me a schedule that tells me where I'm supposed to be. And believe me, I've been looking forward to this all day. And seeing and hearing all of you beats a budget briefing any day. <laughs> your talent is manifest. Your brilliant performance in Europe was an inspiration to all of us. I don't need to tell you about the kind of world-class competition you were up against, or the fact that a good many of your competitors had plenty more resources behind them than you did, but you did have advantages. First, your talent. Second, your commitment and determination. You practiced endlessly, sometimes in Latin or German, and you raised the money for the trip yourselves. Third, the wonderful people behind you and here, I mean your parents, families, and friends. And most of all, you had a secret weapon whose name was Joyce Garrett. Joyce, I know how proud you are of all these young people, but you know what? I have a feeling they're proud of you, too. Am I right on that? Yeah. Well, I know there are many others to thank. Maureen, or Maudeen Cooper and all the friends of Eastern Choir did a wonderful job of helping all of you get to Europe. Also, Mel Bradley has sent me some newspaper clippings about you, and I think you've been saying some very important things. Your choir, choir president, Frederica Gordon, brought to life your international tour and that prize you won in Vienna. A lot of times before we even finished our song, she told the Post, they were up on their feet screaming. Sometimes you felt like saying, okay, okay, but wait till the song is over. <laughs> And I think Edward Love said something important, too, about what all this meant to you and to us. He said, it makes me very aware that as a person, I can do something and share with other people. I know people who use and sell drugs, but I don't get caught up in that crowd. I want to look back and say, I went to Europe and experienced great pleasure in singing songs and representing my country, my school. Well, that you did all of you, and all of us, your families, 
friends, classmates, community, and country are proud of the tremendous job you did over there. You've competed against the best the world had to offer, and you came out ahead. And America takes pride in you today. So thank you again for brightening our day at the White House, and my warmest best wishes to each of you for the future, and God bless you all. On behalf of the Eastern High School Jack, um, Choir, <laughs> Mr. President, I would like to present to you this Eastern Choir Jacket. Eastern is the pride of Capitol Hill, and with this jacket, you are now known as an honorary choir member. <laughs> I'm very proud to have this. And would you think that I was doing something wrong if instead of having it hanging in a closet and between times of wearing, if one of these days when the building is finished, I decide to hang it there where everyone can see it in the presidential library. Of course, you wouldn't have made me an honorary member if you ever heard me sing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all very much. say a few words oh, with a <laughs> tennis ball in my throat. <laughs> it was just magnificent. So Ed, I don't know what key you're going to sing. <laughs> well, Mr. President, uh, after that uh, international activity uh, that uh, they were engaged in, uh, we have a, a rather mundane subject, but an important one, uh, and one in which uh, we have a number of different viewpoints. Uh, it's basically the uh, whether the United States should sign a protocol uh, relating to nitrates of oxygen, or an oxygen, not, uh, nitrogen oxides, I should say. Uh, and so uh, we have uh, here a combination of domestic and international expertise to present this to you. We'll ask John Whitehead to start out. Thank you very much, uh, Ed. Mr. President, I'll just sing in the key of C to make it simple for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, United States has uh, led a a uh, series of negotiations and uh, agreements uh, to improve air quality. These have been international uh, negotiations uh, with also the Soviet Union, uh, Warsaw Pact countries, and China. So these involve the... This is a tail slate. Uh, there are two events back to back. The uh, choir just before this was open. This event in the cabinet room, which is a domestic policy council meeting in the cabinet room, uh, closed coverage. Today is August 1st, 1988, Sasek on camera, Butler doing sound. This is a closed event. <laughs> <laughs> 